Good morning. Uh, so a lot of things have happened since the uh, last recording happened. Um, I was playing a lot off camera, in a, in a sense, and I got a lot of shit done. <laughs> like, a lot of shit. So, as you can tell, I've got the platinum armor, which, or, uh, not the platinum armor, Dundrasil armor, which looks fucking amazing. I, oh, yeah, also, at the casino, uh, I got, managed to get the power platinum sword. And, uh, forged it. I got the Dundrasil stuff. Jaden has far better stuff than that, but she's now in the front lines. Eric is now back in the front lines. I've also went exploring and got him a little trinket card from Vanguard. He also is now better with knives than he is with boomerangs. His boomerangs just weren't doing anything. Serena is still in the front lines. Got her another outfit and stuff. Better weapons. Gold rosary to him. Up her mending. Sylvando so is now a dual wielder. Now has two swords. New look. All that kind of stuff. Rab is still pretty much the same as he used to be. And Veronica is now in the back line. And she's better with her magic. But essentially I've moved all the magic guys into the back. With Sylvando. Because I'm just not a fan of him yet. Uh, and yeah. <laughs> it's It's been a ride. Done a lot of stuff. Did a lot of side quests. Uh, yeah. All side quests currently are done. Except for the ones I have here. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, all I did was change Eric from boomerangs to swords. Or to knives, so he can dual wield. Other than that, though, it's, that's it. Uh, I plan on... I plan to keep using knives with Eric's. I, I, I've got her Vim all the way up. I'm just working on getting uh, stabs. Uh, Serena's almost done when it comes to her Harper's Tree, and then I'm just working on her other, other stuff. Jaden is pretty much good in Allure. Rab is kind of all over the place. Sylvando is all over the place. And we're still creeping up on power. Uh, power swords. So, yeah. Uh, we're at the... The Mini Metal Academy, where we last saved. Made sure to come back here after every session, every time I played, just to kind of be like, okay, well, this time I'll start sit, or this time I'll start recording, or this time I'll start recording. Never really happened until just now. And oh my god, I spent a lot of time in that casino. Uh, I have not explored this area yet. Outside of the church thing, which is what I ran to, I believe, in the last recording, I have not done anything else. Wow, those, wow. That's really cool. Listen to me. Oh yeah, and this school is all girls. Uh, the mini medals, which we read about through the blacksmith. I forget his name. Uh, and yeah. It, and it seems like they're all French. Listen to me, girls. You must, you must never, ever set foot in the eerie. Eerie, eerie. Uh, the path is Easter and forbidden to go there. So forbidden to go there. That valley is very ruled over a cool and covenant uh, illicit bird. If ever that feathered fiend finds any shiny or he seizes it in its talons and takes home in its nest. Oh God. <clears throat> if he should catch sight of the twinkle in your beautiful eyes, girls, those orbs brilliant is should surely think them presley jews and z and pluck them from your et I'm sorry I can't do it without giving the guy voices it's just hard I will try to, uh, and plus I'm not really good at effeminate voices if you do not believe me about how horrible that place z is a book there is a book in the bible below the seek below thick Bibliocra? Biblio French? That will teach you the gruesome details. 
I advise you to read it to uncover it. Okay, cool. So basically, go there. Uh, that was the classroom. That's just the church. That closed its door on me. Whatever. That's another class. Ooh, it's a library. Knowledge! What luck, Gum Juno? Fine and dandy. Huh. Never been both of those things at once. Takes a look inside. Gum Juno learns how to make smart suits, posh waistcoats, and bling bling belts. Oh, come on. Bling bling belts. Yo, can you say pimp or what? Shit, baby! Uh, Seven Wonders of the Academy. Oh, cool. Wonder number seven. The Mysterious Rose of the Window. A student slain in a terrible act. Oh. This spirit, once a pupil of the Academy, is doomed not only to remain in our world, but remain in the very spot where she met her untimely death. She appears in the prep room at night and is never seen anywhere else. Her mournful face can be seen staring from the windows in, on cold, lonely evenings. Uh, at what she gazes, only she can know. Perhaps she still dreams of graduating, something she can never do, and of the ch and of the chance to go out and see the big wide world. Oh, I only read about number seven, I guess. Any more knowledge? <clears throat> Jackpot. What? Hold on. Come to open the book and randomly sees the word jackpot printed in a large... It must be his lucky day. Is that something to do with, like, the casino or something? That'd be... That'd be one hell of a tie-in. Alright. Perfect picnics for monster riding mademoiselles. A skull rider steed is fast and strong, but not so fast that the rider's tummy can't start to rumble before he reaches its his destination. Shouldn't it be her? Just saying, it's for mademoiselles, but they put he in here as a pronoun. Anyone who traveled on Monsterback knows uh, that it's hungry work. Which is why whenever I set out to see the world atop a monster mount, I make sure to pack a hearty lunch. Two large rounds of sandwiches, a coffee pot, and three lumps of sugar, or plenty of milk. Holy crap, dude, that's sweet. The perfect traveler's picnic, sure. With that in, naps, that in my knapsack, I am ready to sit back and watch the world go by in style, knowing that that I have only, that I have a real treat waiting for me in the hu when hunger strikes. Fucking informative, that shit. Glad to know he had lunch. Oh, cool. Next level neckwear. Look inside. Cool, because I've been needing some new shit on neckwear. Uh, immunity, full moon collars, and uh, clarity. Cool. Oh, and more. Rousing rose collars. Uh, torches. Tr torque? Torques? Torques? Truth? And rare rivities. Or rev reviners. Holy shit! Protection pendant, co uh, choke, chokers of resistance, and dog collars. And uh, Pampelone, uh, Pampelian's pendant. Pendant. <laughs> wow. All that just kind of like bleh, right out of the mouth. Uh, metal winning wisdom of Lady Mininette Maximilian. Huh. Mancheries, if ever you are lost in, on how to make the per how to be the perfect little ladies. Hmm. I ask you that you do one thing for me. Remember the example of the mini metal hunt. Okay. What does hunting for mini metals have to do with being a lady? You've intrigued me, book! Let's find out! What is the first thing to do when we set out in search of our little friends? That's right. We unroll our trusty uh, world map and think carefully about where we will begin our search. In other words, we exercise our knowledge of the world and our powers of re reason. It is these two things in which our actions are mature, thoughtful ladies must be based. To discover mini metals is to discover the world, and this is why we seek them out. Because we, to be a woman in this day and age means to be a thinker and a doer par excellence. Excellent. I mean, okay, fair argument. What do you have to say? These 
on the biggest bookworm and I read every single book in the library cover to cover. Uh, I sure you're looking for a book. Oh, that glitters. It's soon gone. Okay. Well, that must be this. Yep, all things glitter. Uh, deep in the eastern regions of the uh, champ set, uh, suave edge. By the way, also went and did a ton of power creeping, so I am leveled to like 31 and shit. So the monsters here are no problem. Uh, a secluded valley sits high in the mountains. The locals call it the Eerie Ear. Eerie Eerie. For it is the pl the nesting place of the, of the most infernal of flying fiends, the uh, Elusive Bird. Why is it not capitalized? That's a real throw off. Like many of the smaller avian of its like many of its smaller avian cousins, this bird shows a compulsive interest in objects that twinkle and glisten and will roam far and wide in search of such treasures. <sighs> Hi Bree. The most uh Igorous example of Igorous? Ergius? Igreus. Example of this behavior occurred Quite recently, when a particularly aggressive individual attacked a nearby manor house, the beast tore through a ver the very roof of the building and made away with a large silver orb, the most priceless heirloom of the noble family who dwelt there. Oh shit, that's going to be an orb I have to go get. The monster was thought to have taken the orb back to Erie, but a, part but a party sent to recover it never returned. It seems likely that both the treasure... They sought will never be seen again. Okay. So we basically gotta go kill them. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Okay. That caught me completely off guard. And there's one more book. Uh, previous use. Oh. List of all kinds of weird and wonderful names followed by a note saying the registered school year. Okay. Yay, useless knowledge. Okay. Uh-oh. This room's locked. Oh, it's those big dude. Okay. Uh, big doors. I have no keys to get into yet, so it's a little concerning. There's an in here? And an item store. Oh. I'm guessing that's a female. Uh, also, we have a shit ton of money in the bank. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Needed a bit of rest. I think I forgot if I took a nap or if my guys have full health. Better safe than sorry. What you got in the item store? All right. Hypno whip. Uh, no good. Silver tiaras. That'd be really good. Safety goggles. Ridiculous thick glasses that make it harder for my. Okay. Well, shit. I mean. What are, what are these good for? Defense plus three? Oh, they're an accessory. Oh. Okay. Let's see rarity. That's good for charm and defense. Everybody can use it. Actually, yeah. Might as well. Buy this for Jade for sure. Uh, no. Not right now. I'll wait till the proper time comes. And then I'll buy another one for Serena. Nah. I'll wait I'll wait till boss battles to throw on the good stuff. And it's kind of obvious when they're coming. I'm actually not gonna bother giving one to Veronica. Um sorry, wait, wait hold on. What do these do again? Just defense. Then why should I bother? Yeah, they get confused. I don't really care, to be honest. Confusion's pretty... E what, Bree? Four taxis are going... Yeah, okay. By the way, the train we saw was going to Cambridge. Oh. Okay. The She's talking about the holiday train. Uh, if you're uh, from... Uh, anywhere in the GTA area. Greater Toronto area. You'll, you know, side quest. Ooh, you must have been a Voyager Amongst Toll, Tolmia. 
Uh, I am Madame de Beauvoir. Okay. Vice Principal of the Academy. Perhaps you might be able to help me with an un... Private investigation. Thank you! I was hiding the bookshelves in the bio the other day when I made a strange discovery amongst the old textbooks. I found a diary. I thought it was probably left behind by an ex-student, a girl who had one study here, so I had a little peep inside, and what I found there was a crux of... Very strange... Uh, was curix et and core curix. Not sure what that means. I know very little French, thanks to uh, Canadian schooling. Uh, and I can read French pretty well and kind of make out what it is. I have no idea what that says, though. It, it, to me, if I would guess, it'd be like curiouser and curiouser, like Alice in Wonderland. But I highly doubt it's that. Uh, tell me, Voyager, will you help me get to the bottom of this, this little mystery? Students, dusty lead. Okay. And I get a bell's bow. Okay. Students, dusty dirty. Sure. Uh, is, uh, <clears throat> I will bury my memory where my shadow is in a birch tree. Okay, hold on. Here I will bury my memories where the shadow of the birch tree that that we dreamed beneath stretches in the evening light. All that I leave behind, I leave to you, my dearest friend. It may be mere. What is going on outside? Oh my god, what the fuck? Sorry, there, there's been construction going on about my house. There's been a water water pipe burst. And it's, oh my god, will you stop for five minutes? And they've been trying to fix it, and now some weird machine just went by. Anyway, back to the game. It may be merely my imagination, but I cannot help think that this message is meant for me. My best friend and I would often go to swing so birds lived with. Okay. When we were girls, my best friend and I would often sit and the swings beneath the old birch tree branches and speak of what our lives would be like when we grad uh, we were grand parsons. Uh is it, this message is from her then I must know what it means. What is buried out there in the garden? I would go and search myself, but alas, during the day I am busy with my work, and at night I cannot see where I am digging. If you would really, that's a poor excuse. If you would search the garden of my steed, I would be very obliged, very grateful. Uh, indeed. Uh, it bien. Uh, Allow me to read the message to you on false. Here I bear the ma Yeah, I, I read it. Okay. So, go to the tree and... Alright, fine. That shouldn't take very long. Okay, easy, kid. Chef's area. Oh. Bacon. Thrown vegetables. Pot. And I see you sprinkle the children's stuff with... All the healthiest of things. Anyway, going upstairs. Dormitories? Oh, well, I want to know what's in here first. Oh, God, there's a lot over here. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll go through this one first. Yep, dormitories. Any books? Any girls' clothing, I guess? Okay, or mini metal. I mean, I'll take that too. Thank God! This could have been really, really awkward. Uh, Alright, this door. I'm entering your room. More knowledge! <laughs> I got the bling bling belt. Okay. I'll bite. What the fuck do you do? Uh, charm and defense. Is it really worth it? Must be an accessory or something. I didn't really look. Oh my god, Bree. Please. Okay. Are we done? 
What are you doing? I'm recording. Jolly songs of jolly for jolly girls. Uh, grubby Grubby Glumlins, a traditional sort of folk song. Don't be shy, sing along. Grubby Grubby Goblins, so small and strange and lumpy. Grubby Grubby Goblins, some are gloomy, some are grumpy. Gloomy Goblin, gloomy Goblins always sad, grumpy Goblins always mad. Come on, little. Oh, Grublins! My bad. Oh, it's not so bad. Grubby 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 Grublins. Informative. So glad I read that. Next. There's a... Okay. Okay, nothing. Good. Oh, oh. I love to hate you. That's a good song by Ash uh, Ensher. Uh, Schoolyard Scandal. Standing in the upkept field behind the school, the wind playing with the crimson scarf uh, wrapped tightly around her neck and the tor uh, trousling her unburned hair. Emily's eyes burned with barely, conce with, uh, barely concealed rage. Finally, Matilda appeared, the two girls locked eyes. The stalk of an unriped cherry poked from the corner of Matilda's mouth. You took your time, Emily. Her voice was harsh, almost screaming. Don't speak with your mouth full, Matilda. Emily snapped back. You know how I hate that. You wouldn't want to make me angry now, would you? You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Hulk smash! Okay. Matilda grinned with her winked grin, with her wicked grin and spat the cherry pit high into the air where it soared in a lazy arc. And it was that then that enemy realized the moment the pip hit the ground would mark the start of the fateful final fight between the two long-standing rivals to be continued will emily survive what <laughs> what's going on Alrighty. good to know they talk about violence i guess at least they're not completely disencouraging the realism of the world. Oh, a feather cap. Not the worst thing to find in a girl's room. I just admit something? <laughs> I feel like I just admitted something. Oh, 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 okay. Nope, nope. Is there knowledge in here? Okay. Fine, I'll bite. Oh, hello there. My name is Priscilla. I have a problem. Mm, I'd say you have more than one problem. A secret anguish that I must tell anyone, that I can't tell any of my classmates. You look like a tight-lipped sort of fellow. I will be as long as you don't come near me with yours. There, there, there. Stop lunging at me. If I share my deepest, darkest secret with you, will you promise not to tell anyone? Oh, cool. We get a uniform. Ah, uh, sure. Mwahaha, thank you so much. Mwah! <laughs> I don't know, but that's what it's like. Mwah! <laughs> that's, I don't know why that's funny. That's, there's no reason for that to be funny, but it's funny. Mwah! <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, God, pull it together. Thank you so much. Now, uh... Have you heard of Le Mini Mod? It's our school newsletter. Well, I heard that Mademoiselle Sherry is starting a new column offering advice to the lovelorn, so I wrote a letter to ask her about my secret passion. But I'm too afraid to read her answer. What if she says that, she'll ne that he'll never be mine? Huh? Oh, oh. Sorry, just clicked in. My heart would break in two break it uh, break clean in two that's why I need someone to read it for me but I can't ask any one of my classmates they can never know the unfathomable depths of my des my desire which is where you come in could you go and read his this month's issue of Lay mini mod for me and see what mademoiselle share says I should do you'll find it pinned up on the notice board in the gallery overlooking the monster metals uh, study 
uh, if you can't see it, just uh, just ask Bastine, the editor. She's a hammer hood, uh, so you should be able to spot her easily enough. She'll be able to tell you where it, to find it. Agony of the Ecstasy. Ugh. Okay. I'm leaving now. I don't want to come back until I'm done this mission. Uh, oh! Cool, upper level. Awesome. Oh, there's the hammer hood. Hey! There's, uh, Editor-in-Chief, Mini Metal, yeah. Uh, top of top, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't really want to read this, just because I have a feeling I know where it is. Never mind, I don't. I'm an idiot. I just signed editor in chief school newsletter in Mini Menace. Uh, that you know. No, oh, not that you'd know it from being big blank 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 space. Blank 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 space on the notice board. Uh, I just finished tacking up this month's issue. When it got caught, caught, caught by the breeze and blew out of the window. And on top of it all, it was an all new, new, new format. It even had the long await share, share column advice for the Lord Love of Madame Cherry herself. Uh, where you're hoping to get, get, get some advice yourself. I'm sorry, but it would take me far too long to reprint it. I've decided to write, write, write this issue off and start work on the next one instead. If you are absolutely desperate to read the Manuzo column, you'll just have to hunt, hunt, hunt down the one and only copy. It blew, blew, blew away in the direction of eerie, pure, eerie, eerie. I'll wager that some kindly monster has found it and stuck, stuck, stuck it up on the signpost somewhere. Why do I think that you think that? Because it is a masterpiece, of course. Even if the meanest monster in the world can recognize genius and want, 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 to share it with the world, wide world. Oh, cool. So basically, it's got to go in the place where I'm already going to go. Fine. Fine. Oh. Okay, bye. Alright. Last stuff is uh, checking on the headmaster, I guess. This is a very interesting school. What the fuck was that popping sound? Oh, hi there. What? Oh, root. Root, 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 root. Give me root. Yeah. Whoa! Tripping. Tripping on some root. Uh oh. Oh. Never mind. Wait. Hold on. What is this? What am I watching the green orb? Whoa, hold on a sec. Is this just. Is this going back through cutscenes? Oh, it is. It so is. I welcome you to Nautica. Huh? How do you know he's. <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. Okay. Of do. Yeah, we've already seen this, so I'm just gonna cut right through it. Consider okay, thank you. Yeah, you're okay. So yeah, this is just going over past cutscenes. That's actually kind of smart. I, but what? Yeah, okay. For you. Got it. You, you, but yeah. uh -huh. Got it. It was the well... So t okay. So si okay. <sighs> Remember the. What was the point in doing that again? I I don't understand the point of her slamming down the cane other than get some like some light. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, cool. Now I know that exists. So if I ever miss anything, I can go right back to that. Awesome. Oh, do I get a headache from that? Alright, what's on the other side? 
Nothing. Fat load of shit. Except for a scarecrow? You know what? I question it. Who the hell is